Hey, we've got here another integral today. This one's from MIT Integration B 2011, problem 23. We have the integral of x e to the e to the x squared plus x squared. So all of this here is all our exponent dx. Okay, one thing I found interesting with this one, when I did the problem, I actually have a different answer than MIT got. So I'm going to say I'm right and they're wrong, but I'll let you be the judge in the comments and let me know if I did something wrong. So I think I got it. And you actually, what I'll do after I do this video, I'll check Wolfram Alpha and see what they say. Anyway, so I think there's a couple ways to approach this, but I think what I want to do first is I don't really like adding stuff in the exponent. So I want to turn this into a multiplication. So I'm just going to rewrite this integral. We'll have our x and I'll write this as the multiplication of these two functions, e to the e to the x squared times e to the x squared, right? Just noticing that if we multiply this together, we're adding exponents. From here, the thing that sticks out to me is this similarity that we have. We have an ex squared here, but we also have an ex squared here, which says to me that it might be a good time to do a u substitution. So we'll make our u e to the x squared, and then I'll take my derivative, and we're gonna have e x squared, but we're gonna need the chain rule on this. And so we'll multiply derivative of x squared, it's gonna be two x dx. What I want to do in the rewrite is we're going to bring our x over here. I just want to, I'll just match it up to that. I just like to make it clear like that. So we'll bring our x over there, but I'm going to multiply by a 2 and multiply by a half, so I'm not changing it. And we'll have our dx, and this way, this piece right here is exactly our du. And then let's not forget this big thing over here. And then I'll make my substitution. We've got our 1 half out front. This thing is going to be e to the u, and this thing's just du. Okay, very simple integral, but integral of e to the u is e to the u, so we're just gonna have half e to the u. Okay, and we can back substitute for our solution. And what I have is one half e to the e to the x squared plus c. Okay, now just a couple of things. I mentioned I had a different solution. Now, MIT didn't have this half, and I was thinking maybe, maybe in the problem there was supposed to be a two there. I went back and looked at the problem and I didn't see a two there. So to me, I think I got it right, but so let me know in the comments what you think of that. And then one other note, you might notice if you decide to make your u substitution this instead of this, the problem would probably go a little quicker. So that might be something to do, but I thought this one kind of was a little more obvious too. So anyway, we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.